coloring. I can't, I cannot with my life today. <laughs> wild i wanted to leave it down for this video that i'm gonna film but like it's insane it's basically a content filming day because i have to film my introductions for some videos and then i have to film like the base of it but it's gonna be a ton of like just filming like filming small clips just filming big clips and mashing them all together is gonna take a lot of time but i'm probably not gonna do that today oh and i have to film nail queen studio mm. <sighs> Nail Queen Studio is moving to Serbia. I can't remember if I've, I think I've mentioned that in a vlog before. Anyway, this will be like the last Canadian launch that they have and it's on its way to me and I'm really hoping it comes early next week. Seven, it has seven colors in it. It's called the Princess Color Collection and, and there's a lot of like metallic finishes to this collection. There's a couple glitters. One looks like a foil. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so I need to film some of the background stuff for that video. I don't have the actual collection to finish filming that. I've got new earrings again from Shop Blushing Bros. I just love that shop so much. These are all the crystals I'm gonna be showing you guys which I'm really excited for this because I have been wanting to do a crystal video where I go through a whole bunch of different crystals that I have for quite a while and it's just never really worked out when I was trying to plan to do it. That's when we first heard that Swarovski was not going to be selling to distributors anymore. So I was like, well, I'm not going to do a crystal video then because people can't get these crystals. So I'm excited to show you guys these because it'll go through some great crystal options. I think I'm done my intros. I think I'm trying to think if there's any other... I guess I could do my intro for Fusion too. I will, that's the problem with me doing too many intros is I forget that I've done them. Freaking cats. I'm ready to flip the camera around and we're gonna go through all the crystal options. I do need to find a background. I want something that will not take away from the crystals, uh, but I also want something that will like, Go with it i'm kind of thinking like a wood grain or a marble i know exactly which background i'm gonna grab actually <gasps> like colorado topaz oh this is pretty this must be a rose opal peach i call it champagne this is denim montana crystal aquamarine ab mm, turquoise peacock blue so they have a little bit of different names blue. I'm just going to see their ABs. I'm going to kind of see what I'm working with here. I didn't want to open any of these until I was sitting down to film them because I want the packaging to be as clean and nice as possible. Slinger and detail number two. Crystal display stand. You guys know how much I love their crystal display stands. I have eight of them for the press-ons. And this one is specifically for ugly duckling content. editing day today. I really want to get that press on and Q&A video up. Ivory and I filmed it two or three weeks ago now, but um, I was saying this in a live video that it takes me a really long time to edit 
talking videos because I edit out all of the ums and then when there's two of us there's a lot of ums. It's two hours of footage and I have to listen to both of us talk through the whole thing and weed out the things that don't need to be in there and yeah it's a lot. So it's taking me a long time and then I've also had content that has had to go up in the meantime of me editing it so it's been put on the back burner to edit it. I also got my hair done yesterday that's why it's actually down today. You guys never see it down like this. It's getting so long. Like it's crazy. So because it looks so good, part of me was like, oh, maybe I should film some YouTube videos, but I don't even know what I would film. I gave her her own little spot here because she always wants to lay here in front of my computer and she lays right here so I can't even see when I'm editing. So I gave, put a blanket here and now she's fine there. I could probably cover you up too. She likes to be covered up. Don't you, Pearl? Okay, I made changes again in here because that's just how things go. I moved all my Opry art inks up there back where they used to be. Uh, because I have all the Nail Queen Studio gel polishes now. These are fantastic. They're cute little bottles too. I actually want, wanted all of my gel polishes out because I tend to reach for gel polish the most, so it'd be nice to see all the different shades and stuff. And then I moved all my beamy into this rack over here. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick tiny of this face. So whenever I design sets for videos, um, I sell them in our pre-designed nail sale. And we don't have a pre-designed nail sale planned for a while. And still put them on cards so that they're ready to go for that sale. not finish this order last night. I got most of it done. The design for one hand. Oops. And then this is the design for the other hand for it. I can't remember if I explained this, but she is going to a live podcast, I believe. Wine and Crime podcast. So she wanted something to go with it to match like their branding as well as like the theme of it. So I came up with those. I just have to figure out something to do with the red now. And then she wanted like a dark red one color set. So I did this reflective gel. I like it except for some reason it looks super thick to me. So I actually made her another one that's not with the reflective gel and I'm gonna send her both because I just, I don't know, I just was not a big fan of that one. So then she can kind of decide what she wants with it. Um, but I wanna get this done because my mail lady will be here soon. Uh, so then I can get it all sent out to her and it'll be on its way. So I was just packaging up her order here and I had them on the card and I was like, oh, that nail looks like it's pretty small. Yeah, I was totally the wrong size. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I think what happens is sometimes um, the sizes get shuffled into the wrong compartment in my box and usually I, like, I can notice it right away and apparently I didn't. So now I have to remake that nail which is fine because now that I'm looking at this nail too, it's got a little bit of crinkling in it and I'm not loving it. So whatever, we'll make two more nails here. If you guys have not tried the Beamy gel polishes, they are amazing. This is the first time we're seeing kind of a pearl effect to their creamy gel polishes. Oh, it just applies so nice. You do have to work thin and you do have to shake them up. Because if you don't, you're gonna have problems with them curing. doing I have an order that when did I go out oh it was fulfilled earlier in January and I, that's totally my cat 
uh, when it was received, um, she noticed that I put crystals on it and she had requested not to have crystals on it. But I'm making her her replacement nails for that, which was only two nails, one on each hand. Uh, but I'm just gonna do a whole set because it feels so funny to just send two little nails. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the same color that I used for it, which is this Nail Queen Studio olive branch color. It's a really pretty kind of sage green. And get that all mailed out to her and then after that I am well I have one more order to do today but after that I am mostly done for the press on stuff and then I have some behind the scenes work to do press on Q&A that Ivory and I filmed um, it's all uploaded and ready to go I just have to make the thumbnail for it and do I don't I don't think I need to do any links for it actually but and I want to set that as a premiere for this evening it's honestly just been like a <laughs> A kind of a boring day. I got that video ready to go, got my packages all out, and then I was basically on the computer for the last... I had some stuff that I needed to just get done on there. And my girls are going to be home in about a half an hour, so I just feel like there's just no point in starting anything. Uh, and I'm a little stressed. Like, I'm just... I'm feeling a little stressed about some things that are going on. This package came in from Amazon because I ordered drawer liners. I kept... I had it on my dollar store list, but I just have not made it to a dollar store. And I was able to get drawer liners that I believe will fit my Alex unit perfectly. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to quickly organize that. Drawer liner stuff is so interesting. I've never used a drawer liner like this. But I measured or I got the dimensions of the drawers on Ikea. And so then I ordered stuff that would fit in it. Just hoping it doesn't like move around too much. I have to glue it down a little bit. I wonder if I use those sticky tabs if those are this is gonna work. I've got these zots and they're like they're big and I can put them down on the corners of the drawers. Last time I had to do drawer liners I used glue, like I use like a hot glue gun. <laughs> not that I care because those drawer liners are not coming up, but I think this will be a little bit easier and then it's not moving around at all. Next test will be to see how well the gel pots do in there. These are all the Glitter Bells glitters, which are fantastic. I like that you can buy a pot of the certain color and it comes in um, fine, medium, chunky, or you can get a mixed one of like a solid color and then they have mixes as well. So then it's nice if you're doing a nail set and you're like, hey, I just need like a chunky red with nothing else in it. These little tabs work fantastic for this. I just tried to yank the last drawer up from the little zot thing that I used and it didn't work. So, and I'm about 95% sure I put that first drawer liner in upside down. do the rest of this tomorrow because I'm gonna go upstairs and make supper and then my mom is coming over to get her nails done right away. I'm going to be using a new product on her. This is the Fuge Fortify by Fusion and it is like a builder in a bottle and so we're gonna give her a gel polish manicure. I'm thinking we're doing like a rose cold, rose cold, oh my god, rose quartz stone type of nail. I think that's what she wants and this product will work great for it. a week at the end of a vlog. I was actually just editing that vlog and I was like, Talia, you need to film more things. I literally just leave you guys hanging with my organization because I, I never came back to it. Um, I remember saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And then I can't remember what I ended up doing the next day. I can't remember, but I basically left that organization project and I want to finish it. So I'll film that. Uh, but first I'm going to do up sizing charts. We had um, three come in yesterday. And they're all for short almond. That doesn't usually happen where they're all for the same shape. Oh, this reminds me, I have scissors in my Amazon cart because these ones are driving me bonkers. On today's agenda, we have a ton of press-ons to do. I know many of you comment that I need to take like time off and more um, time for myself, and I do. 
like I well I try to but um I made a point of taking basically this weekend off from everything that I could take time off from there's still some stuff that I needed to post on socials for the most part I just wanted to like peace out and hang out with my family uh so I did that which was amazing it was Valentine's Day yesterday and Steve took the day off and we were able to spend the day as a family and it was fantastic but back to work today and I spent the morning editing that vlog this vlog that you guys are watching and then I was taking a look at the orders from me taking time off and for some reason I was thinking I didn't have too many that were due right now that's a lie like 14 that need to be done not 14 separate orders but like 14 sets of nails and that's including the one color complimentary sets Spending a lot of time creating press-ons today, which is good. I'm excited. I love days like that. Sadly, Ivory is not feeling very well. Um, she's been out of commission for, I want to say like Thursday. I basically just told her like rest. Don't worry about the shop. We'll figure it out. Besides having to do the orders, um, everything else is like content, website stuff. All of that is pretty slow right now. I haven't been making a huge priority to spend a ton of time on promoting it on this on socials. I was going to say on the socials, promoting it on socials, uh, just because both Ivory and I are fairly busy right now. I've had a couple TikToks do fairly well in the last couple of days, which has brought in a lot of sizing charts, which is amazing. But other than that, we'll just, we'll just take that a little bit slow right now. just if we have a bunch of them they they can take a while that didn't take too long especially because it was all one shape okay let's move over to the nail desk so i received a package from glitter heaven australia which if you guys have been here for a while um i used to share glitter heaven australia mixes all the time they were i want to say one of the first like small shop glitter mix companies that I shared on the channel. I could be wrong in saying that, but I feel like I feel like that's quite the possibility. Bonnie sent me a bunch of these really fun glitter mixes. And one of the things that I really like about Glitter Heaven Australia is that you can tell that she puts a lot of thought into the different mixes that she creates. She was even saying that when she was creating some of these mixes, she was um, thinking about how I create sets based on her mixes by combining a bunch of different colors and such. And I actually think I'm gonna turn the camera around and go through all of these with you guys. This is what their old, well, it looked about better than this, it must have got wet. <laughs> Glitter Heaven mixes used to come in little baggies and then I would take the sticker off and put them on the pots that I would just get from Michaels. But now they come in these containers and I did wanna show the difference in size of them. And then the logo now. So it is a little bit different. Um, I definitely like the new branding here and I like that these are um, a little bit bigger here too. So this is Neon Darkness. So pretty. So when I see a mix like this, I would take this as inspiration for my color palette. So I would pick out maybe um, some pinks and some neon greens, maybe even a coral, and those would be the colors that I would work with, and then I would do black accents because there's a really nice black in here. So I love using glitter mixes like this, especially if I don't know what to do, or if I have a new set of colors in that I want to use, but maybe I'm not sure how. If I can find a glitter mix that kind of coordinates with it, that's what I will do. Um, Secret Melody. This one I really love. I love purple and green together. I just think it's just such a fun combination. Uh, so like a lavender purple, neon green, and then it's got holographic uh, silver stars. It has unicorn dreams. And it has like big unicorn chunks in it. And then the dot glitter in it have a little bit of an iridescent look and they are purple and like a blue. Citrus Smash. There's lime green, orange, yellow, and then like an iridescent color to it too. Uh, so I would definitely do like a citrus look using this glitter. This would be my accent nail for sure. This is Frosted Gold. White matte glitters in a few different sizes and then holographic golds in it. This is pretty. I really love this pink shade. So this is called Ariana. It's a beautiful pink glitter mix. 
And then it's also got some um, really fine green in it. So I would probably pair this with a floral mix just to pull some of those greens. This is black opal. This one's really pretty too. Actually, they're all really pretty. Um, but it has some of those kind of like shard looking glitters. And then it's got uh, some solid black in it too. And then like a holographic black as well. Penelope. And this one's pretty too. They're all so pretty. Uh, this one is super sparkly. It's got some iridescent silver. It's also got some uh, pink. It's almost like a champagne pink. What are those called? Hexagon, hexagon glitters and stars in it as well orange punch so this is a nice kind of corally orange with some pink in it and some iridescent flecks we have queen of the sea nice turquoise color with some holographic silver this one has more fine glitters in it this is tainted love i love this com um, color combination and there's a lot going on with this mix so it's got hearts in it of two different uh shapes it's got some light blue, it's got some corals, it's got some dark blue, and then it has some iridescent in it as well. So this is pearl. This is dot glitters in pink and purple, and then we have holographic silver in with it as well. I love this one. I actually did a nail. I demoed in the live how to use glitter mixes. Uh, so this is that one here, and I did it over top of a hard gel, a magic gel, like glitter gel, or glitter gel. If you want to see how I did this, the live is still up uh, and it gives you some tips and tricks for working with these loose glitters and especially with like press-ons. So it has like a rose gold glitter in it, matte white glitter, and then a nice turquoise color. Luna Eclipse, like a fuchsia purple with some holographic black and iridescent, um, kind of like a purple iridescent in it. Pink Ladies, hot pink, there's a light pink in here too, there's some um, teals. And then there's some, um, the stars in there are like a holographic pink. This is Queen of Hearts, red hexagon look to it. And then it's got some iridescent glitters in it too. This one's gracefully, ooh, I love this one too. It has like a champagne goldish silver glitter in it. I love hex glitters too. And then it has like a rosy Merlot type of shade to it. This is really pretty. I would use this for fall time, but I'm almost leaning towards using this now with some florals. Uh, shimmer. This is those really nice. Um, oh God, this is so pretty. I could see this with a unicorn set for sure. Um, but those purpley pink type of colors, like what would you call it? Like almost like a lavender pink. Uh, Beanie has a gel polish that would match this perfectly. I'm totally getting inspiration here. Obsessed, hot pink, some holographic. Oh, it looks green. I was going to say turquoise, but I'm pretty sure it's green. This is ColourPop. So this is another bright neon type of one. And it, this has, this has some iridescent glitter in it too, but then it's got orange, pink, has a lavender purple and then um, blue to it too. That's what I like about Bonnie's mixes. So we have all neons in here and then she throws in a lavender purple and it just really breaks it up and it makes it unique, I find. I just really, really like her mixes. Um, flicker, ooh, see, color inspiration. I would grab like a dark purple gel. I would grab like a lighter pink gel, maybe a rose gold um, and do up a mix, completely inspired by this mix. Iceland, I use this for a snowflake set, but it's got some stars. It's got some really sparkly diamonds in it as well. And a really nice blue to it too. This is Sugar Rush. I really like this as well. Oh my God, I like all of them. So a bright purple and then a bright pink and then some iridescent to it too. I like purple and pink mixes. Like I could definitely see a zebra set or something with that one. Dream Lover, nice hot pink and then some iridescent glitters in it too. This is perfect pink, which describes this perfectly. I just love the shades of pink in here. Halo, so that nice kind of rose gold glitter. And then we have some of that um, lavender pink type of shade in it as well. There's only a few more of these. Night Shadow, medium blue with some black and then some iridescent mixes too. This is Olivia. Really nice, kind of like a cotton candy um, pink. This is Medusa, this is cool. This is a really neat mix, okay. So you look in here and you think that it's gonna be like those chameleon glitters, which I don't know if it is just a mix of them or what, but it's kind of looks yellow depending on how the light hits it. It looks gold, uh, looks blue, looks green. It's a very interesting mix, that one. This is Bluebird. 
Uh, so some hex glitters, again, I would use this for snowflakes. Um, and then some iridescent as well. And then the last one that I have to share with you guys is another neon one. This is called Candy Crush. And it's got some really pretty like neon colors with it. But again, that lavender purple, um, we have neon green, we have uh, neon pink, neon orange, and then some white matte glitters to break it up too. So I would probably use this one in combination with pops of white because it's got that nice white in it. I can't remember if I mentioned this on a vlog or just in stories, but they now come with these new inserts, like any of the new releases. Uh, some of the older ones probably don't have these in yet, um, but they're clear, which is really cool because you can easily use these. Put them on top of your tip or your nail and just kind of get an idea of like what the design would look like. Ooh, that would look cool double stamped there. That would look really neat. I think it's twirly swirly um, series. And this is their French one. So some nice accents to create a French nail with it. With how fine they are, you're going to have to work really fast with that one. I know that right away. And then this is the twirly swirly alphabet one. So again, we have our clear insert there. And then I use some alphabet stamping for that crime nail that I posted at the beginning of this vlog. Um, and I really like it. I need to do that more often. I hardly reach for those font plates, but there's so much you can do with it. This is from Coco and Claire. This is called there um over the rainbow so this is what it looks like when you open it so it, when i first opened this i was thinking that's gonna be super like a super silvery holographic i'm not entirely sure how well that's gonna layer over top of different colors don't let that fool you because um it's beautiful i was thinking that it's gonna be too silver and it won't look the best over pastels but it does it looks amazing so this is uh, 52 vintage blush. This is one of my favorite collections they've ever launched. If you're thinking, hey, that's like super silver. It's just going to cover this up. No, it's not. It's going to add a really fun rainbow look to this. Barely has that silver look. So you could just use it on its own like this, or it is magnetic as well. So it's got like a cat eye look to it. And you can make it move however you want. If you wanted to do some sort of magnet look to it too. And I mentioned uh, products like this that change your existing products that you already have in your collection. I love because you're not buying like a whole new collection of all these rainbow glitters or anything like that. You're buying one product that you can use in combination with things that you already have. And um, I'm a big fan of that, you guys know that. I just cannot finish a vlog. I had like, I don't even want to say the worst sleep. Cause by the time I actually got to sleep, it was great, but it just took me forever to fall asleep. I went and ran some errands last night and I decided to stop at Michael's because there was actually something that I did want there. Well, you guys don't I like to go see what paper pads they had. They had nothing, like no new paper pads. They must be like in between stock or something. There's also a ton of new Christmas stuff there that I didn't see. Um, during Christmas, so I think it's, and it's all marked down to like 80%. Supply chain, I think is all kind of messed up, just like everything else right now. Anyway, I grabbed these organization bins for my cart. If you guys watched me helping Ivory rearrange her nail studio, uh, she had a couple of these. They fit perfectly in carts. I got two of them because I want one for my press-on cart, for sure. And then I was thinking um, I can use these for my stamping products, organize my stamping products better in my nail art cart. Uh, so we're going to do that today because I was actually working on that yesterday. I was moving some stuff around with my cart. Uh, these are so funny. Okay, so these, they're by this brand, Vibra, and then this is like the collection. I don't know. I don't know what you call it. They're glitter highlighters. Glitter highlighters. Hello. My purple one is all dried out, sadly, but... 
Um, they're water-based, so I'm going to try and figure out how to get some water back into them, and maybe I can make it work. But look at how sparkly they are. They're so sparkly. That yellow one just makes me so happy. It is a glitter paper pad. And I have uh, been using glitter paper pads a little bit more with my content, uh, mostly for like the press-ons. Um, but what I liked about this glitter paper pad, it looks so sparkly, is how fine the glitters are in it. A lighter green, a nice pink, and purple. They have like a little bit of an ombre look to them, but I know I'll get good use out of this because I've got uh, th two or three other glitter paper pads and they're darker than this and it's kind of annoying to film with. So I think this, this will be good. I'm really excited about that. I went down the brush aisle, which I normally do, and I grabbed two of my favorite watercolor brushes. Uh, these are by Winsor & Newton. The big one here is one of my favorites because it's got such a big belly that it really holds the water when you're um, doing watercolor painting or <laughs> coloring. I can't. I cannot with my life today. Get in here. Oh, sorry. I touched his paw, like I was saying. Um, this bigger belly here, it really holds the water and then because it's got a nice fine tip on it, um, the paint just kind of pools to the end versus like kind of staying in the brush hairs if that's, if you know what I mean. So I got, uh, their level one brushes and then I got a zero round, which is the smaller one and then a two round, which is the bigger one. And, um, I love these watercolor brushes. And then I found this thank you stamp, use it with like wax seals. I use a wax seal uh, for some of my thank you cards and stuff with the press on shop or giveaway packages. I have a couple of these already, but they don't. One has a rose on it, one has a vine on it, and then I think one says best wishes. Um, but I like this one that says thank you. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed this pink soap brush cleaner. I've never tried this before, but it says it cleans oils, acrylics, and watercolor paints. I'm going to share another small shop find that came in yesterday. So this is from Onyx Nail Pro. Onyx Nail Pro, and she sent me um, some cuticle oils, which is amazing. So she sent me this one here, this rose gold nourishing oil. And she's got all of her like proper labeling and such on it. I'm really excited about this. Um, this one is an unscented oil. Great option for people that want something a little bit more unscented. Um, can you guys, I cannot. Look at this. So for our small shop confetti, I'm looking for cuticle oils um, that I can put in a scoop. This is perfect. So she sent me a sample of it to make sure that it'll work. And then she also sent me a couple samples of some of her other scrubs that she has. Green sugar scrubs and a coffee scrub to try out, which I'm really looking forward to that. So whenever I get super stressed, you guys know this, I like to do an organization project. Um, so I'm going to finish what I was doing yesterday, which is the nail art drawer here. I'm just about done, I think. The last drawer I keep all of my, like, either PR packages, new products that need to be shared. Oh my god, that smells amazing. Stop. I'm so excited. So I need to uh, put drawer liners down there and organize that. I'm going to quickly reshuffle my card around, both my cards to fit in these organizers over here. I cannot put on cuticle oil without putting on lotion. I just can't do it. I have to, I, whenever I put on cuticle oil, I have to put on lotion. Let's get organized here, Talia. I, my brain is honestly just so scattered right now. I've got a lot of things going on behind the scenes and it'll all be revealed soon. <laughs> so dramatic. nail tech friends who has followed me for many years madison madison has a shop i believe a distribution for light elegance products um, as well as now some brushes this one here is a synthetic gel brush this is a sweet series art striper and then the last one over here is the art detailer and i just shared these on my stories on instagram and i had um delia i hope i'm saying that correct uh, she has a youtube channel as well she reached out and said that she loves these brushes she's been using them for a while um and she said that probably her favorite one is this one here 
Look at how teeny that is. It is so teeny. And um, she said that she really likes uh, this brush for the buttercreams, especially. So I'm looking forward to trying those out. Thank you very much, Madison. And then a haul from the Nail Thrones. So I placed an order for some new spring and summer colors. I knew that I for sure wanted to get one of the gel brushes. This is the number four. Like, look at that packaging. It is so cute. Um, number four brush and it has a really small head on it. I think this is gonna be great for marbling actually. And then this is their crystal picker upper tool. This actually has a larger head on it than what I'm used to using for crystals. So I'm interested to see how I like that, but I especially love the pink packaging with it. I have five um, unbelievable gels to share with you. So first one up, this is Luscious Lilac. A beautiful lilac shade, a little bit deeper than say uh, like a super pastel purple color. And then this is Periwinkle. This is beautiful. I really, really like this purple. I feel like it's hard to find good, like brighter purples. It's really, really pretty. It's a nice bright color for spring and summer. Uh, this one here, this is magical. This color is so beautiful. It's actually showing up pretty blue in camera, but it is a gorgeous turquoise. I am pumped to use that. Cannot wait to use that one. This is Pink Parade. Think of like a Barbie pink when you look at this one. It is just so bright and bold. And then this one here is a fair. And this one is um, a little bit on the darker side. Also have um, some top coats. Okay, I'm pumped about these top coats. Where's the other one? Uh, two new top coats. These are no wipe top coats. We have this one, which is a hollow top coat. Really great holographic silver. And then this, so excited. This one is called Precious. And this one is a nice gold. It's not really like a yellowy gold. It's a nice like bronzy type of gold. I'm really excited to put this on a nail because it is very concentrated. And then I have a few gel polishes to share too. Uh, so this one here is called Purple Purple Sparkle and it is a fuchsia purple shade. I think that'll be great for summer nails. This is Love Locket, the brighter coral and it has a pearl finish to it. This here is Best Friend. I picked up a couple neutrals that I thought would be good for uh, like wedding nails coming up. And this has kind of like an opal sheen to it. Super pretty. Possum sparkle. So a nice bright kind of fuchsia purple as well. Like more like a neon purple shade. And it has some iridescent uh, blue sparkles to it. Uh, Diamond Mirage. This has a kind of like a rose gold finish to it. Definitely right up my alley. This is the last one. This is Milky Shimmer, and I got this because I think it's going to be fantastic for marbling. It's got a great opal sheen to it. We do have a new release from Coco and Claire, so we have some more builders. I love when they launch these. Uh, so we have three different ones here. This first one, this is called Peaceful. It is number 435, a darker peachy look to it. And we also have this one, which is 436, and this is called First Love. And this is a great rosy color. And then the last one here, this is 438, and this is called Grateful for Me. And again, another really nice peachy one. So builders are great because you can use them on their own. You do your prep, you do your base products, um, you do your prep, you do your primer, and then you just go right in with something like this. Um, you can create your structure with these because they're a little bit thicker and have a little bit more strength to them. You could go on top with the gel polish after that, or you could just top gloss and call it done. I like to use these for marbling because they have that really nice uh, milky shimmer to them. Because they have that really nice milky look to them, they work fantastic for breaking up like darker colors when you're marbling. Um, and I love that Coco and Claire releases uh, colored ones. They have a really nice pastel collection that I use all the time, a great gray one, like I just love them. So I, I really, really enjoy when they release um, these colors. Then sharing all the fun things that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I'm going to go through my drawers right now that I just organized. We're gonna go through the cart that I organized and then I'm gonna call this vlog done. This unit over here sits right beside my desk now. I wanna put some of my most used items in it. So on top, I have my Ugly Duckling color gels. This one here is all glitter bells. I have all my loose glitters from Glitter Bells organized here and then I have the color gels over here. Do not love storing it like this. 
but um, because when you turn it upside down, like gel is gonna be all pooled in. Um, but their labels are all on the bottom. So for now, this is how it's staying. Um, this is all of my beamies, and I do have some accents over there. Just their leaf gels are over there, and I keep forgetting to use them, but they're fantastic. So I decided to move them over here. And then all my Nail Queen Studio hard gels over here. This is all of my gel polishes that are not out on display, just the ones in here. So I have um, on Vogue over there, um, Nail Throne, which I can put those other ones back in here now. These are the Beamy's uh, Quartz right here. These are some, these are the Mosaic Glass Gels, just a couple of them. I use these for um, a bunch of different art for the press-ons. My Ugly Ducklings are here, and then I um, moved all my Magic Gels over here. This drawer, I moved all those glitters that you guys saw at the beginning over here, and then all I have is striping tape because we just reach it, reach for it often. And then this drawer down here is upcoming releases for some of the different brands that I shirt. I feel like I finally have this exactly how I want it. I moved all my Nail Queen Studio cuticle oils over here. I'm actually going to keep this rose gold one right here as well. Um, and then I have the Fusion Fortify because I will 100% be using that on my nails often. Um, you can tell what my favorite top glosses are. These are all Magic Gel top coats. Some of them have chrome and such in them um, on accident. So... <laughs> I put them in there and then I've got the gold one over here um Coco and Claire and then Nail Queen Studio mattes again some of my favorite ones I moved my e-file here because I've been using it a little bit more lately this spinny thing holds some of my most reached for products and then over here I've got the fusion tops that I reach for all the time and then some of the Moira stamping products that I use uh this is my stamping organizer love this uh so I keep the chrome on my stampers that I use I keep the chrome on my stampers that I use for chrome stamping uh, because I can keep using them. Like, just reach for this purple one and it'll be good to go if I just need a little accent. I mentioned this in videos before, but I go through uh, stamping heads quite often because of all the content I create. So instead of getting rid of them, I just turn them into chrome stampers and then I just, I have a bunch of them. You would not need this many chrome stampers. Um, you could just have one chrome stamp and then just keep like cleaning it off. And then these are the clear stampers back there that I'm using. Those are my backup polishes, backup sticky pads, and then all of all of my scrapers. This is main, actually I don't even wanna say mainly crystals. I just have some of my crystal stuff in it. Uh, crystal trays, my crystal dish, my crystal pixie thing from Glitter Mix Canada. Um, crystal trays, these are the stampers that I use mainly right now, um, for especially for content creating. And then I've got my mixing balls here and then my daily charm. Um, crystal pixies all my crystal pixies are here this stand here is from amazon and i just use it for all of my ugly duckling um stands and then back here are some pens some neutral i think they call them alcohol pens i think um i keep them there because i need to use them and then down here i just tidy this up a little bit more uh kleenex some dishes and then all of the stands that i use for filming and a wait for one of my camera stands actually ending a vlog like who's this um, I need to go edit this video that you guys are watching right now and then I'm gonna work on press-ons for the rest of the day And I just need to hammer them out. So I'm not gonna film anything with it I'll probably do some stories or something, but I'll definitely be filming TikToks with them uh, But thank you guys so much for watching and those of you who came for the live chat. Thank you I'm watching it with you right now and I'm having so much fun chatting with you guys uh, Make sure you're following me on all my social media and I'll see you in my next video. Bye